happy Monday and welcome to your morning Kairos. While it's the 25th for you, it's still the 19th for me. So whatever happened on the 20th and the following days after, I have no clue. But regardless, whether good or bad, whether you're positive or negative, whether great news or bad news, I think it's important that we take some time to just sit in silence and try to understand how God might be feeling about all that is going on. And how is he seeing his church respond to what is going on? How is he seeing you respond to what's going on? So just take this next minute and just sit in that silence and waiting and listening for what God is feeling. Well, I hope that was a good time for you and that you were able to hear and listen to God well. And as we continue talking about authority, we'll actually be looking at Mark chapter 11, verse 29, where religious leaders are questioning Jesus' authority. Is it from heaven or is it merely of man? And in so doing, this is Jesus' response to them. I, I'll tell you by what authority I do these things. If you answer one question, Jesus replied, did John's authority to baptize come from heaven or was it merely human? Answer me. And I think when we look at this, we gotta pay attention to what's going on with the religious leaders. They themselves are, do not personally believe John or Jesus have authority from heaven. They think the authority from heaven lies with themselves even though they got it all wrong. But they won't claim that or say it out loud because everyone else around them, all the common people who are supposed to be listening to them, are instead listening to John and Jesus, who they believe have actual and true authority from heaven because they're like prophets. And so the following passage uh, later that we'll get into and read uh, becomes a story about what What's going on here in the dynamics but when it comes to us we also have to be questioning ourselves what authority are we going to listen to most now we have a lot of authorities in our lives that we need to be listening to right now both legally and as citizens but first and foremost we are citizens of the kingdom of God and at God gave us grace that we need to live in and live out of. And so I want to wrap up today with prayer. And I'll just give you the prayer prompt and, and you'll pray us out as the video closes in the next minute or so. But I want you to pray that God's authority rules in your heart and mind first and foremost. That everything in your life becomes encapsulated by God's authority over you. But then next, I also want you to pray that God fills our leaders, both our local and national and global leaders, with grace and wisdom and discernment. So will you close us out in prayer today? Thank you for watching.